Hi, I'm the Godless Engineer, and I want to take a second to address uh, a situation that has been coming up a good bit in our public schools, uh, and it's something that I really like to pay attention to, uh, and it is something that I think needs to be uh, dealt with. Today's particular story uh, that I found was about a child in North Carolina who was told to rewrite her essay because she wanted to write the essay on Jesus. Now, this is fine for this girl to write an essay on Jesus. Now, this essay isn't supposed to be religious. The teacher did not say that the student had to write on their favorite Bible character. But the current state of it right now is very he said, she said. So, uh, you know, just, I don't, I don't know if we're ever going to know exactly what happened, but the issue is, should this little girl be able to write an essay on Jesus in a public school? Now, I have a feeling as to why this teacher asked this little girl to write about something else, because I've seen it many times where a teacher will actually tell a student not to express their religious views in a public school because they fear that that they're going to get sued they fear that they're going to suffer some kind of retaliation for the word jesus being uh, announced in a public school setting now what uh, is allowed in public schools is very easy to understand and you know what they have even developed a small little test a long time ago that apparently nobody even cares to look up it's called the lemon test the lemon test was developed back in 1968 as a direct result of a Supreme Court case uh, concerning lemon versus Kurtzman and in this, uh, they argued that it was against the Establishment Clause for the state to reimburse a Catholic private school's teacher salaries for uh, teaching secular material. And the, the, the outcome of this case uh, was this lemon test. There are three points in this test that you can use in order to determine if something violates the Establishment Clause. So, using uh, these three points in this test, you can tell if any situation violates the Establishment Clause, just using these three tests. And a big problem is, is that people think that just because some of the Founding Fathers believed in Jesus, that a good portion of America has been Christian up until this point, that we are some kind of Christian nation, and that if we promote Christianity in our schools, it's not that big of a deal. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is. America is a melting pot of cultures. We have religions of, of from everywhere. And so by you forcing prayer in schools or or forcing the Bible, or forcing, uh, teaching God that he exists in, in public schools is wrong and it violates this test. So how this actually pertains to this particular story is that I support this girl in writing about her hero Jesus. While me personally, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't think he existed. There's no contemporary historians that actually account for anything in his life, anything that happened uh, during the Gospels, um, or himself in general. But that doesn't mean that she shouldn't be able to write about her vision of Jesus as her hero. She should be able to write about it because the teacher isn't requiring them to write about Jesus. That is why this is completely fine. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this particular situation and similar situations. If you have encountered this situation in your local area or just uh, know of a story, please let me know uh, and, and you know keep the discussion going because this is a discussion that needs to happen. And people don't need to be afraid to profess their beliefs in general. I'll see you guys later.